Okay, if you're watching this video, you should already have a Weebly site set up, and you should have already embedded your Prezi. So, if you haven't done that, go back and watch those other videos. Unless you're a genius, you can just figure it out on your own. So, we're going to publish our, our uh, Weebly site, because otherwise nobody can see it. So you gotta go up here, find the bright orange button that says Publish, and if you haven't already done so, you need to create a subdomain of Weebly. Now this, like the site title, is up to you, as long as it's not dumb, because I'm going to see it and I might judge you for it. So let's see, my site is about some random student named Walter Payton, so I'm just going to try W. Payton. And it's available. So I'm going to click continue, and there we go, it says website published, it's at wpayton.weebly.com. So if you at home wanted to show your friends or whatever, you just type up here in your address bar your subdomain, in my case it's wpayton.weebly.com, and that's where they would see it. Let's click on it and go to it. Now you can see it is password protected. That is for your safety because you guys are students. We don't want any creepy people stumbling onto your page. But the whole class has the same password. Talk to me about getting that password for your class and then you can see your site, you can see your classmates' site, but that's pretty much it unless somebody else shows you their Weebly site and tells you the password. So once you have the password from me, you can access your Weebly site.